Oh, hi there. My name is Seth Doherty. I'm going to be your instructor for this online class. In this video, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the course and give you a few tips for success. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you will want to do is log into Blackboard. And once you log into Blackboard, you will click on this course. I'm using this video for multiple courses, so don't pay uh, too much attention to uh, what the class or the dates are. Um, just find your course, click on it, and click on the syllabus link, and you will see a copy of your syllabus. You can download that to your device. Uh, you can print it off if you choose. Uh, I would at least recommend you print off the part of the syllabus uh, containing the assignment checklist and keep that in your homework notebook so you make sure you don't miss an assignment or a due date um, or skip anything. Uh, you are responsible for everything listed in the syllabus so please read it carefully and after you have done that our next step will be to go to My Open Math. So this is what our course looks like on My Open Math. You'll just go to myopenmath.com you will follow the instructions for getting registered in the class that can be found on your syllabus and once you get in the class it will look like this. Um, there is a discussion forum section uh, if we're doing projects or if you want to discuss exercises with your fellow students uh, you can post your questions on the discussion forum and then we have several modules Within each module, there might be some sub-modules. Each lesson has a link to the textbook, which you can click on and read, followed by a series of videos. You can watch as many of these or as few of these as you feel like you need to get a good handle on the concepts. And then at the end of each section is a homework assignment. When you're working on homework, you should keep all your work in a homework notebook so you can refer to it later. Uh, or if you have questions, I can look at what the work you've done. When you're doing your homework and entering your answers, please notice when you click in an answer box, you should see a small yellow rectangle appear. If you click on that yellow rectangle, let me show you a different one. If you click on this yellow rectangle, you will find uh, all the templates for entering things like fractions, uh, exponents, radicals, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, everything you would find if you were taking this class using my math lab for example okay so for each section you're going to read the textbook you're going to watch the videos you're going to complete the homework assignments um, and then at that point any questions you have uh, you would you would want to ask me and here are just a few tips for success in the class Number one, you need to develop a consistent routine and stick with it. I highly recommend you work on this course every day or at least every other day. If your plan is to work on this class uh, once a week, that's probably not a very good plan and you should uh, readjust your plans a little bit. Number two, check the Blackboard page or check your My STLCC email account at least twice per week for announcements because I will use Blackboard to send out announcements. Uh, that's the easiest way for me to send something to the whole class. Uh, I will have all of those announcements sent directly to your email. So that's why I said check one or the other. Either check the Blackboard page or your email account at least a couple times a week so you don't miss something that may or may not be important. And number three, seek help as soon as you get stuck. Uh, contact me during office hours. Uh, we can talk over the phone. You can come physically to my office. You can send me an email. Uh, or we can meet up online using Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, there's more information on that in your syllabus. Uh, when you do uh, ask me for help, it's often nicer if I can see the work that you've done so feel free to take a picture of your work and attach it if you email me that way I can see exactly uh, what you've done and where you need to go from there or if you come by my office bring your work with you and this is your first assignment for the class I want you to go to the my open math page click on discussions go to the class introductions forum and add a new thread Put your first and last name in the subject line. 
then you, you have two options. Option one, I want you to address the four questions below in a quick video and attach the video to your thread. Or the second option, if you don't want to record a video, you can type your responses to these four questions in the message part of your thread and attach a photo uh, so we can get to know you. After you've done that, feel free to look at your classmates' threads and respond to them uh, if you feel like you want to. Okay, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, let's have a great semester.